Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Check it out. Here we have the XGP Motorcycle Bluetooth Headset. Um, this is the two-pack. Links down below in the description for everything I use in the video and then some. So this is the version 5.2 Bluetooth version. Um, there's two intercoms in here. It says intercom distance 1200 meters. Battery capacity 1000 milliamps. So you've got 30 to 35 hours of talk and play intercom time. It's got a Type-C charging port. Um, charges in one and a half to two hours it says here. You can do music sharing, univer universal pairing to uh, your friends with different ones. It's waterproof. Uh, it says noise canceling technology. Um, has a mic. Hi-fi stereo sound with a strong bass. And here's how it comes in the package. Very nice packaging. And let's go ahead and open up, show you what you get. Open that looks good so again the two pack here's how they come nice got a nice feel to it you've got the plug-in will go here on the on the side or end clips on in the back obviously and you've got two buttons here and you got your up and down buttons on the top and that's it got a nice feel to it and here you've got since it's two pack, you got two manuals. Then you'll get two packs of the speaker setups and whatnot. It says some stuff in here. Uh, basically the same things already said. So noise canceling, waterproof, music sharing, 12 meter intercom, 5.2 Bluetooth. Um, okay, let me show you what you get inside the box here. So what do you get in here? Let's have a look. You get one for each headset. So you got a clip here. Here you have a mic with a sticky back on it. Here is a Mode C USB. Here you have your speakers that go in your helmet. Looks like your mic will plug into here. This also Mode C plugs into the back of there. You have another helmet clip. This one is a clip on. This one is a stick on. Okay, and then if you have an open face helmet, guys, here you have a stick on, uh, I don't know what you call the, the mic that hangs out in the breeze. That's what this is here. So that's what you get. Obviously, one for each because you've got to talk to your buddy. So there's that. So uh, let me get some things out of the package here, and then we'll show you how they work. Okay, here's how I'm going to plug things together. So the mic will plug into this other little one. So obviously you don't have to use a mic if you don't want to, I'm assuming. Um, but if you want to, there you go. So you plug that into there. Excuse my butter fingers. Got that plugged in. This side here, we're going to use the long mic. Got that. Got that plugged in. That one's upside down, but you get the, you get the gist of it. So... There's the two options on the ways you guys can do that. This is flexi, so you can flex it around. However it works for you guys is great. This one you'll stick to the inside of your helmet in front, um, which is perfect as well. So let me show you how they work. So button rundown. This back button here is the power button, the big one. The little front button here, Bluetooth intercom button. Then you've got your volume up and down buttons, plus and minuses, same on both obviously. So to power it on, you hold these both for three seconds, and then the blue light will flash. I heard it say power on. That's all that's to that. And then to shut it off, same thing again. Red light. It said power off. I could hear it talking. So if you tap the minus button twice, I'm assuming when it's powered on, it'll tell you the battery power. Yeah, it won't do it off. So let me turn it back on. One, two, three. Power on, it says. Double tap. Power is 100%. Factory reset. You'll hold these two top buttons together for three seconds. And then it says the red and blue lights will flash for one second. If you're listening to music, You'll tap the big button once to pause your song. You'll tap it again to play it. So if you want to go to the next song or the previous song, 
It says for music switch, you'll tap this first one, the plus button, one tap. It'll go to the next song while the music's playing. You tap this one, it'll go to the previous song. So in order to raise or lower the volume, your plus button, you will hold it for one second. If you want the volume to go down, you'll hold the back button for one second. So for music sharing, you're going to tap this button twice, and it'll prompt, prompt the other person for music sharing. Then to disable, you'll punch that twice, and that will turn that off as well. So to pair the units, you will turn them on. Power on. Power on. Now it says you hold it for two seconds. Searching. Searching. Connected it set in both. So that simple, guys, piece of cake. It says doing that for universal pairing as well. So you put your units into search, right? All right, so to pair it to your phone, hold the button down two seconds. It will say searching. You find it in your list in the Bluetooth on your phone and click on it, and it'll connect right up. It's really that simple. Let's see if we can find some music. Let me test it, see if it plays. It's playing. It's actually playing through both. So you guys can share music and listen to them together, which is kind of cool. Okay, so my phone is connected to this one. To make it start playing music, obviously this is the pause and stop button. So it's playing. You want this one. Now it's going through both. So you want to not, your buddy doesn't want to listen to it, hits the pause button. You don't, you're done, hit the pause button. So obviously what I see is the one that's paired to the phone can control the music. Um, the other one doesn't seem to be able to. See, they're both playing. Can't control the songs there. Here you can change the songs with the buttons on the top and bottom. Double click will go back a song. So when the master pauses the song, it pauses it for both. The second person can obviously end it as they want to. Make the call, test, test, end the call. For both. So while music is playing, double click, go to the next song. Test, test, test. You cannot talk while the music is on. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test. No, nope, we got to end the call. Test, test, not connected. Play again. But he doesn't want to listen to it. Can pause it. You can pause it. All right, so if you want to talk to your buddy, you guys have already paired your units up. You'll push this once. And it'll beep on both. Test, test. I can hear it coming through there. So whoever wants to end the call, you simply push the button. It beeps, ends the call between the two. And like I said earlier, to raise the volume, plus button is the top one, you'll hold it for a second. So it beeped twice, meaning it's at middle level. There it beeped, meaning it's at max volume. If you guys can hear it, it did a double loud beep, so that means it's maxed out. So if you have a call from somebody and want to reject it, so you tap this once to answer a call. If someone's trying to phone call you, tap it one time when you're done with the call to end it. If you're getting a call and you don't want to answer it, you hold this down for a second, and that will reject the call. And then again, to shut it off. Power 
power off, power off. So these two papers, they were both basically the same menus for, or, uh, manuals as I could tell, one for each, right? Um, here's what's in there. Here's how it operates. It's very simple, user friendly. Should be easy to find the buttons when you have gloves on, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's plenty loud here. I know you'll be able to hear it on your bike. So it's going to get a thumbs up for me. So like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links down below in the description if you're interested in anything. They're pretty affordable and have some pretty cool features, and I think you're going to like them. So if you get one, let me know. If you have any questions, put them down below. I appreciate you guys watching this. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.